my name is Alex Mayorga. I'm going to be going over the use of the part brake of the aerial truck. Um, basically, so this is the, the tractor here behind me and then the trailer. So that's the terminology I'm going to be using. Also, we have the, the tractor steering axle and the tractor drive axle and the trailer steer axle. The yellow knob is for the tractor brake, pull the set. And the black knob is for the trailer brake, push the set. And it also has an additional alarm here to let you know that the trailer brake is set. On the aerial truck, when you set the parking brakes, make sure you always set the tractor parking brake and the trailer parking brake before you get out of the vehicle. And of course, your wheel chocks go on the front steer wheel. If you happen to be on your wheel chocks, if you ha the truck happens to be on an incline and the vehicle is pointed up the hill, you want to put both wheel chocks behind the wheels on both sides of the steer axle. So that one you would leave there and then this one you would put on the other side. If the truck happens to be pointed downhill, you would have both wheel chocks on the front, on the front side of the axle. There, and of course this side would be placed on the other side in the same position. On the trailer brake, there's a sign on there, a little plaque that says aerial use only. And the reason why they have that there is so when you go on it, when you use your outrigger, you're going to raise the truck up and, and get the aerial stable. Once the aerial stable, what's going to happen is you're going to start lifting up on the rear, rear axle. So that's going to make your braking, your, your parking brake less effective. So that's why you need the uh, front wheel chocks and basically the manufacturer wants to make sure you are setting the trailer brake because you will be losing some rear axle on the tractor parking brake. Mm -hmm.